with young children doesn't see it, leaves a butcher knife stuck there. And it, you know what? That does eh. Dr. Janet Taylor. <laughs> I mean, he should be writing well, you know, scripts in Hollywood. That's what he should be doing. <laughs> well, well, absolutely, and the facts speak for themselves. I mean, it was his ex-girlfriend, reportedly he might have seen her sipping wine with someone else. He became enraged, and the reality is that when there's domestic violence, the highest risk is after a breakup one of the highest risks. So, I mean, he has a lot of motivation to really be just enraged and lost it. Essentially, he could have killed her. Dory, North Carolina, your question or thought? My thought is that he's ridiculous, and he was trying to kill her. He was enraged. He came with a knife, and he should be convicted to life in prison. Yeah, I agree. And listen, uh, this guy and his ex had a very ugly breakup. Uh, he had revenge on the brain. He admitted that he went to her home to apologize for, are you sitting down, everybody? Stealing her vibrators and marijuana from her home. Mm. Now, that's, that's darn nasty. That's darn nasty. <laughs> and uh, uh, one more thing. He also admitted that he emailed her employees photos of the two of them having sex. Uh, Dylan Howard, uh, please, please take that one away. <laughs> Jane, this is one of the this is one of these cases where unfortunately the truth is stranger than fiction and it reads like something out of Hollywood. Now, his defense team has somewhat uh, foolishly tried to uh, create a level of question of credibility over his ex-partner Kendra Beebe by saying that she lied at a previous custody battle. So this is all set up now for the jury to make a verdict in this and as you say, well, they're going to look back upon the testimony yesterday and that's either going to make or break Shelley Malil's well, career and life. Out. He's going to be a karate kid too, but I think he's probably going to go away <laughs> for a while. All right, fabulous guests, thank you so much. Oh, you won't believe this. Breaking news in the search for missing Utah mom, Susan Powell. You will not believe some of the new developments just coming down right as we speak. And next, I'm going to talk one-on-one -on -one with Casey Anthony's defense attorney, the one and only Jose Baez, and why he has hired some more members of their dream team. We're going to talk about that in a moment. That's all I have. Nope. You slandered me on Stop. TV. Stop. And you perjured yourself with Stop. this because she's not Fernandez. So there you go. You want to fight it? Go for it. At Best Western, you get more. Right now, stay two separate times and earn double rewards. And because our independent owners want to make sure you're rewarded with even more, earn triple rewards when you book now at bestwestern.com. Hi. We're ready to switch our car and share ours to Progressive. Today just seemed like a great day to save. Oh, it's not just today. With our free loyalty program, you earn great stuff like accident forgiveness and bigger discounts just by staying with us. Oh. Ooh. So what you're saying is it gets even better with age. Oh. <laughs> Tell me we're still talking about insurance. Rewarding loyalty. Now that's Progressive. Call or click today. Hey, what's going on? Doing the shipping. Man, it would be a lot easier if we didn't have to weigh them all. If those boxes are under 70 pounds, you don't have to weigh them. With these priority mail flat rate boxes from the Postal Service, if it fits, it ships anywhere in the country for a low flat rate. No way. Nope. No way? Yeah. No way. Sure. No way? Uh-uh. No way. Yes way, no way. Priority mail flat rate box shipping starts at $4.95, only from the Postal Service. A simpler way to ship. Oh, no! Dr. Scholl's massaging gel insoles with two different gels for softness and support are outrageously comfortable. On second thought, I think I'll walk. Are you gelling? Dr. Scholl's. All right, Team Haribo. Favorite flavor and color. What do we got? Well, sir, my research shows that orange is the most popular Haribo gold bear. Sounds good to me. My focus group likes the green. That's good news. My data shows that lemon is the most popular. Actually, clear pineapple is the best according to my calculations. Excellent. The buzz on mine's all about red raspberry. What's your favorite, JB? I like them all. That's why they pay you the big bucks.
I want to see the most college football. So I ordered ESPN Game Plan on DirecTV. I get up to 15 out-of-market games per week. The top conferences and key matchups. Games you can't get anywhere else. And the games I want to see. Order the regular season offer and get the best college football with ESPN Game Plan on DirecTV. To order for only three payments of $44.99 each, call 1-800-GET-SPORTS or visit directtv.com slash game plan. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema. Hello, McGruber. Putting together a team. Set to Jet McGruber. What about your music? It can wait. Huh? It's irreverent. Put your pants back on. Edgy. Oh. Andy, I know. Excuse me. Vicky, did I just use him as a human shield? Yeah, he kind of did. And very, very funny. Good for you. No, good for us. Catch the never-before-seen unrated version. McGruber, now playing on DirecTV Cinema. Same day as Blu-ray and DVD. Movies playing on channels 125 through 199. Breaking news to tell you about right now. We are waiting to find out if the body of a woman found on a remote Wyoming ranch is that of missing wife and mother, Susan Powell. The unidentified body was found last week about 400 miles from Powell's hometown of West Valley City, Utah. This body reportedly matches Powell's general description. However, just moments ago, we here at Issues heard from a Powell family representative. They believe this is not Susan. This is a story we've covered so much right here on Issues. Susan disappeared nine months ago. Her husband, Josh, has maintained that she disappeared while he took their sons camping in the middle of the night. He is considered a person of interest. We're going to stay on top of this and bring you the very latest on all of this tomorrow here on Issues. Also tonight, Breaking news, Casey's dream team just got a whole lot dreamier for the indigent defendant. The announcement came this morning at a last minute news conference. Casey's getting three new powerhouse lawyers, three added to the team, a replacement death penalty defender, a medical witness, and a new guy to handle that whole Zandy the Nanny drama. Casey's attorney, Chaney Mason, explained it today. We are up against uh, the state attorney's office that uh, has changed his position of death penalty or not death penalty, uh, have unlimited resources, uh, you know, a, a law firm of 150 people, and uh, they can bring whatever resources the mayor they want to. We're having to scrap from the bottom up against all of them. And uh, as has been said, when all of the enemies got me surrounded, you know, that's good because I know I've got them right where I want them. Not backing down, is he? But time out. What about the price tag for all of this? Aren't Florida taxpayers on the hook for a mountain of legal bills already? Turns out the new people are going to work for Casey Anthony pro bono, which means for free. Meantime, Casey's defense team is claiming that the state is withholding critical evidence from them and has been for two years. Just how critical? Well, we're going to go straight out to my very special guest, Casey's lead attorney, Jose Baez. Jose, thank you so much for joining us. You held this big news conference today. Uh, tell us why you felt the need to hire more attorneys and how many do you have at this point on your dream team? Well, hello, Jane. Uh, Hi. Well, you know, the issue is, is this. Uh, we're facing, uh, as Cheney mentioned, unlimited resources. And we it's something simply that we cannot What do you mean, unlimited? Re what do you mean by that? Well, the, the prosecutors in this case don't work on other cases. This is their case to, to prosecute. And w meanwhile, we have to maintain practice, a full practice. Uh, there's over 200 lawyers in that building. And they can uh, just pick up the phone and have any number of law enforcement uh, officers go out and investigate whatever they need investigated. We simply can't compete with those types of resources. So I, I would tell you that what we have up n very close to what we're up against is, is minimal. It really is. Now, how do you divide up the labor uh, with that many attorneys? And I understand you have something like 8,000 documents. Who knows how many pages? And with all these new attorneys coming on all the time, how do you catch up and, and get a handle on all this evidence? Well, first of all, it's 23,000 documents and over 300 wow. hours of audio and video. Uh, it, every alphabet of law enforcement has uh, taken part in this case. And, uh, you know, we're fortunate that I, I have a lot of experience uh, behind me with, with all of these lawyers, and every, everything that they're doing is very specialized. 
So these are lawyers that can pick up the ball and run with it and deal with their specific area and their specific issues. And that's what we're, we're hoping that uh, the, the new members will be able to contribute. All right, so uh, today's big announcement, three more big time lawyers joining Casey's dream team. And you know, uh, you guys went out of your way to make us aware that these people are not going to be charging the taxpayers. Let's listen to exactly what was said at the news conference. Dan Fennell uh, graciously accepted my arm twisting to uh, come in and, and join the rest of us in a pro bono effort to defend uh, Casey. And there again, you know, a twisted arm for another lawyer to come in and, and uh, help uh, pro bono. It takes a lot to ask a lawyer to sign on, A, to be a part of a case, and even more importantly, to do it pro bono. When you're pro bono, you can really be selective. Here's my big issue, pro bono, pro bono, pro bono. That was a lot of talking about pro bono. But uh, last question to you, Jose, are taxpayers not on the hook for some of Casey's defense? I understand that the tab has been six figures at this point already. Uh, death penalty expert Andrea Lyon had billed uh, several thousand. You've been paid. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't be paid, but to, you're talking about these new people pro bono, but there's still a, a lot that the taxpayers are going to foot. There's a lot that the taxpayers have not paid for, and the, the, the taxpayers are paying for this prosecution, number one, first and foremost. And uh, all of the lawyers on this case are not being paid by the state. Uh, it is just the costs that are being paid, such as depositions and things like that. It's not an issue. If, if Casey had the public defender's office representing her, she, they would have to pay for the lawyers and the costs. So in actuality, the taxpayers are paying much less than they would normally pay uh, right. if, uh, if Casey was to use the public defender route. So that, well, that's Jose, a big misconception. Uh, we're going to ask you to stand yes. by. I know we're going to talk about another really extraordinary case that you're handling in just a moment. And we're going to move on for a second with the Casey Anthony case. So stand by there. And I'm going to bring in, wow, uh, I'm delighted to be joined by another major player in the Casey Anthony trial. William J. is the lawyer who represents Casey's ex-boyfriend, Tony Lazaro. Tony is the one who was seen on the secret undercover video with Casey's brother, Lee. Cops actually fitted Tony with a wire so he could try to get information about little Kaylee from Lee. Um, William J., thank you for joining us. I think that the most significant uh, testimony that your client could offer is that he was dating Casey Anthony when the child disappeared, and he had no idea for the whole month that she was missing before... Cindy called 911. Is that correct? That is what his uh, prior statements definitely say, is that he didn't know anything about it. Um, and he was interviewed several times by the police. And he's, his story has never wavered from that. Yeah, so, I mean, he's dating her. And uh, she is not telling him that her daughter's missing, even though her contention is that she was secretly searching for her daughter during that time. Uh, is your client going to be called as a key witness in this case? I would expect that he's going to be called as a key witness both during the fact phase and perhaps if there's a penalty phase to talk about uh, Ka Casey's behavior during that month as well for, for possible mitigation if there is a sentencing phase. So I think he's a key witness for both parts of the case. All right. Well, thank you, William J. Uh, please come back soon. And thank you again, Midwin Charles. Always great to have you. More with Jose Baez after the break. Somewhere in America, there's a doctor who can peer into the future. There's a nurse who can access in an instant every patient's past. And because the whole hospital's working together, there's a family who can breathe easy right now. Somewhere in America, we've already answered some of the nation's toughest health care questions. And the over 60,000 people of Siemens are ready to do it again. Siemens. Answers. Did you ever try to get somebody to pay attention to you when you're disabled? Well, that's how Bender & Bender got to be America's most successful Social Security Disability Advocates. We listen to you and we get results. Call 1-800-66-BINDER. You are a business pro. Lord of the carry-on. Sovereign of the security line. You never take an upgrade for granted. 
and you rent from National. Because only National lets you choose any car in the aisle and go. You can even take a full size or above and still pay the mid-size price. I deserve this. You do, business pro. You do. Go National. Go like a pro. You know, I've been looking at the numbers, and I think our campus is spending too much money on printing. I'd like to put you in charge of cutting costs. Calm down. I know that it is not your job. What I'm saying, excuse me? All right, fine. No, you don't have to do it, OK? Notre Dame knows it's better for Xerox to control their printing costs so they can focus on winning on and off the field. Are you sure I can't? OK, no, I get it. With Xerox, you're ready for real business. Hey, smart. We can stay here for the conference. I'm a member of this hotel's loyalty program. Well, how far away is it? Okay, we take a train 40 miles to a dude ranch where we pick up a couple of horses that we ride to a nearby river. Then we canoe upstream huh? to a helicopter that takes us to the conference. Or we could book with Hotels.com and stay closer. See, with Welcome Rewards, no matter where you accumulate 10 nights, you get a free one. Huh, smarter. Accumulate 10 nights and get a night free. Welcome Rewards from Hotels.com. Smart. So smart. Stop throwing your hard-earned cash in the trash. The all-new Food Saver Vacuum Packaging System with Smart Seal technology could save you $2,700 a year. Don't waste food with ordinary zipper bags and plastic wrap. The Food Saver System takes air out and keeps it out, eliminating freezer burn. You can buy in economical bulk sizes, knowing the extras stay fresh up to five times longer. With its new upright design and hands-free operation, it has never been easier to keep your food fresh. The Food Saver System. Available wherever small kitchen appliances are sold. I know you love this car. A lot of memories. I'm glad you're all right. At the Hartford, we hear from our AARP auto insurance customers all the time. But not just about savings and benefits for drivers 50 and over. Usually, they just want to thank us for making a difficult time a little less difficult. It's perfect. Where'd you find it? I was just driving up here. There's The AARP Auto Insurance Program from the Hartford. HLN presents A Moment of Joy. People always ask me, does Mel Gibson have anger management issues? Hello, does the Octomom have stretch marks? The Joy Behar Show, every night, 9 Eastern and Pacific on HLN. Okay, we're switching topics, but we're keeping star guest Jose Baez with us. Listen to this bizarre and very troubling story. Jose Baez is representing a 32-year-old Florida mother who cops say mistakenly arrested her when they thought she was a prostitute. She just happened to have the same name. Now, there's his client on the right. Turns out the real wanted woman had failed to show up in court on prostitution and drug possession charges, and the cops somehow got mixed up. Jose's client, the mother, not the prostitute, was arrested while carrying her baby in her arms as she stepped off a cruise ship. She was thrown in the slammer for 36 hours. Jose, this went down over Labor Day weekend. How is your client doing now, and what exactly is she so upset about? Well, she's horrified. Uh, it was a horrible experience. It's actually been misreported where they came to her cabin in the cruise ship as they were embarking woke her and her family up at 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, made her leave her baby with her husband, and they arrested her, took her off the cruise ship, strip-searched her, uh, and when she tried to complain, they put her in solitary confinement. Uh, my client is incredibly traumatized over the situation. She's afraid to drive, uh, afraid to go anywhere, without having to uh, prove that this is, A, not the, the person that uh, got arrested. And unfortunately, she's still not out of the nightmare because I have to take her to court and uh, put her before the judge and, and prove that she is not the woman who uh, was arrested in Osceola County and wanted for prostitution and heroin possession drug charges. So she spends 36 hours behind bars She's totally innocent. The only crime she's committed is being born with the same name as this person who uh, cops say did commit a crime. But isn't that why they have fingerprints and they, they don't look alike at all? Why couldn't they have just cleared this up with a couple of checks to the computer? Well, unfortunately, the because of the holiday weekend, there were no law enforcement officers available to send the fingerprints over. I went to the jail over the weekend and got her booking photo and after showing it to Broward County, they still refused to release her. And you, these two people couldn't look more different 
than, than uh, as you can see in the photographs. And it was just a horrible, horrible nightmare. We had to get the duty judge over the weekend to allow, to, to sign an order to release her after exposing all of this. And, and it was just a, a too slow a process. When we have the technology available nowadays to be able to clear something up like this in a matter of seconds, these women didn't even have the same birth date. Uh, my client is uh, five inches uh, shorter and, and weighs 40 pounds more and, and couldn't look any different. And, and it was just a horrible, horrible experience. And we're hoping to get her through this and uh, just finally put it behind her. She's at the point where she's ready to change her name. Oh, really? Well, we only have a couple of seconds. What exactly do you want? What legal action are you taking? Well, right now, we want to clear her name. That's the most important thing. I've got to get her out of this criminal system before she can even think about the next step. And until then, we, we, we just try, hopefully, uh, it'll be a quick process. But I would think that there's some kind of lawsuit here. I mean, I certainly would call a lawyer and sue if this happened to me. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, that, that's, that's not what we're thinking about right now. Uh, of course, we're, she's keeping all of her options open. Uh, right now, we just want to clear her name and get her out of this nightmare. Great seeing you, Jose. Thank you. We're the out pleasure, of time. The pleasure was all mine, Jane. Take care. All right. Nancy Grace is up next. Don't miss it. This site has a four.